Okay, one question. Can you use Noble M as a tool for writing a book? Well, technically it is a tool for doing a research and learning, but I think you can still use Noble M to help you write your book. So in this video, I'm going to show you three features or three amazing things that you can do as an author in Notebook LM. So uh, let's create a new document and actually I have created a new document. So basically here you can upload some resources that you might want to use for your book. Uh, you can upload a document, PDF document, website, links, YouTube video, etc. And here are a few things that you can do. So uh, in Notebook LM, you can create a note. So this is one example. This is a notebook that I created. And let's say you got some inspiration and you want to include that into your resources. You can click add a note and then you can, you know, uh, give it some title, give it some content, etc. And then you can actually convert that as a source. So the note that you just created will be part of the resources. And later, there are some other things that you can do to make the experience with Notebook M to be much more interesting. So that was one thing. And by the way, I think it is worth mentioning that you can also create some sort of mind map, study guide, FAQ, briefing, document, timeline, etc. And uh, those are related to notes. Okay, the second thing that you can do in Notebook M as an author is that you can ask it to generate a chapter or outlines for your book. So I'm going to, going to be using this prompt and let's send a message to AI and it will read all the resources that you just created, including the notes that you have converted into resources and then it will create some sort of draft of your book that later you can turn into a real book. So this process would take quite a while depending on the length of the document. Okay, still generating uh, the answer. Yeah, it's very slow in my opinion because maybe I have a lot of resources, but if you're making like, you know, five, 10 documents with little text, then I think it's gonna be a lot faster. Anyway, this is the answer. It gave me this outline that later I could turn into a book. So that's the second thing that you can do. Now, the third thing that you can do with Notebook M as an author is that you can use it as an interactive podcast. So there is a feature called interactive mode in Notebook M. And basically you can create a podcast from the documents that you just provided, and then you can turn into the interactive mode. So one example that I could think of is that you can ask AI, you can discuss with AI about maybe a few problems with your uh, draft, or maybe you want to uh, make sure that you're not uh, revealing a uh, plot twist or plot holes, etc. So basically you can discuss with AI to make sure the story or the content of your book to be as good as possible. So let me give you a quick demonstration. Let me click interactive mode and just wait for it. Okay, now I'm going to click this and I'm going to click this in order to join the interactive mode. So let me do the demonstration. Welcome to the deep dive. This is where we take a stack of sources, dig through them and- uh... Whoa, did someone just break the fourth wall? Let's hear it. Hey, uh, okay, I'm just the author of this book, but I haven't published this book yet. So I want to ask you, can you find me maybe the plot holes in this book because I want to make sure that the, the book to be as uh, good, as perfect as possible. Oh, wow, that's incredible. That's a fantastic request. We'd be absolutely thrilled to help you out with that. It's fascinating to look at the mechanics of a story. Yeah, and you've given us so much to work with here. What's fascinating here is how the story handles immense timescales. Okay, so let's unpack this for your book. For instance, Celine has been waiting for 50,000 years. That's a huge... Oh, go for it. Okay, I just want to make sure that you understand my request. Can you tell me maybe one plot hole from this story? We absolutely understand, and that's a great question. We could definitely highlight one for you right off the bat. So one of the first things that stands out for your consideration is the sheer time scale. Selene has been waiting for 50,000 years. That's a huge span of time, right? And then humanity's journey to Proxus Centauri is 300 years. Think about the changes. As oh, back to our listener. What's up? Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I really like it. Now I have another question. Can you maybe give me some suggestion about uh, what the main character should do at the end of the story? 
Oh, that's a brilliant question and a fantastic opportunity for your narrative. We love thinking about character arcs, especially at the climax of a story. Given what we know from your source material, Captain Lisa Chinoka 4 is the main character at the end. She's the great granddaughter. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. But yeah, I think I would say this is the most amazing, the most useful feature from NotWM, at least in my opinion, because you can use it to study your draft, your current state of the story, your, your current state of the book. And uh, you can also get a feedback from AI in real time. And overall, it's also quite an enjoyable experience. It's not like you are talking to AI that is so monotone. And not to mention the AI in NotWM is quite fluent. It's quite natural. So it's quite an interesting experience, basically. So uh, those are some things that you can do as an author of a book uh, if you're using NotWM to help you write your book more efficiently. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.